Hello, I'm Andreas. This is part three of my robot arm project. Um, today I will show you the rotary base. Um, I finally managed to print them. I had some issues with my printer, so it took a little bit longer than I expected. And basically, there's a stepper motor and a printed gear. And uh, here are bearings uh, who carries the center bolt and six um, five millimeter uh, bearings where the rotary plate can slide on them. So all in all I'm quite happy with the design. It uh, turned out it's more uh, rugged and stable than I expected. You know, this is the first part I re uh, don't have to redesign. I will come to some issues about the robot arm later. Basically, it's secured by a standard nut under this uh, bearings. But for testing, I can rotate it manually. Unfortunately, the stepper library uh, isn't able to drive the stepper faster, so it's quite slow. But you get an impression how it works. Um, I will mount now the robot arm on to the plate which is basically quite simple I have uh, some uh, uh, screws here and on the on, um, counter side here are some um, hexagon slots to fit the nuts inside So I mounted the rotary plate, the gear to the robot arm, and it fits well and nice. The basic problem is I can't adjust it like this. I'm terrible. Okay, I managed to screw the robot arm onto the rotary plate and you can see it rotates very smooth so that's actually quite good quite good and it rotates but overall on the long term I have to replace the stepper motors uh, with some more efficient uh, motors. I'm currently looking for DC geared, uh, DC motors with gears. Um, my experience for now is that you need at least 10 newton meter torque at the lowest joint. So, by the gear ratio of one, one to a uh, one to five, it leads to two or more newton meter torque for the main motor down there, and this isn't able to get with uh, steppers uh, to a good cost ratio. I added this one. That's. The heavy NEMA 23, about a 90mm long stepper motor, this is um, this able to lift the arm.
I used a timing belt and a little adapter to test uh, this configuration and to get uh, some kind of information how much torque I need really to drive the robot arm. Though this is uh, not a final solution. Overall this stepper is also too weak um, with these two at the top I don't know. Um, so the next plans are as follow. Um, I made good progress building the gripper. This uh, works uh, better and I will sh show you this in the next video. I have some demo finger and this is a, a new approach and uh, it's look, looking very well but it's not finished now. Um, after the gripper is done I will redesign these main parts using timing welds instead of these gears and a DC geared motor on the bottom and on this place and maybe on the, for this too. Um, one problem with the DC motors is they are not uh, controlled so I need definitely uh, encoders to measure the angle of the robot arm. I used some uh, magnet encoders for our other project and made very, um, I'm very happy with this solution. So I ordered some more, and will put on every joint here, here, in the rotary base, and hopefully somewhere here, one of these magnet encoders. So you can absolute measure the position of the robot arm, and you don't need stepper motors. You can use cheap DC geared motors. They are lighter and provide more torque. On the drawback that you can control it, them as easy as a stepper motor. Uh, but I see no other solution to make this robot arm work. Um, that's a plan for the next weeks. Uh, building the gripper and then redesigning the main motor, uh, uh, the main robot arm. Um, so I hope uh, like the video and um, see you next time.